After a 60% gain in 2016, the Brazilian tracking ETF, the EWZ, is up another 20% year to date. Can the big Brazil rally continue? Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. Stacy Gilbert and Matt Maley are with you as your Trading Nation team. Stacy, are you surprised by the strength in the Brazilian market and do you think it will continue? I do think it'll continue until, you know, as we always say, until it doesn't continue. But I can say from a sentiment perspective, investors are still setting up that it will continue. In terms of flows that we've seen into EWZ, and that's obviously going to be the easiest proxy for U.S. investors to get exposure to Brazil via the EWZ ETF. So that's seen about just under 200 million more inflows this year. That's about 20 percent of what we saw through all of 2016. So we're still seeing new money move into EWZ. What's interesting on the option side, they've gone very quiet. So yes, options trade, it's a very liquid ETF product on the option side, but just in terms of what's really being priced in, so much of the risk has come out of this market here, which is kind of interesting, suggesting that investors are more comfortable with it. So do I anticipate a 60% return again this year? Probably not. Last thing I would say is emerging markets as a whole and within some of the subsectors, some of those specific countries, that really continues to be an area of focus for investors. They want to own emerging market equities this year. Obviously, Brazil is no exception. Okay. Yeah. And it's been a heck of a run, Matt Maley. I mean, Brazil, largely a commodity economy. I wonder how much is just because oil has also done well. Well, I think that's going to be important going forward, too. I mean, the, the one thing that we've, we've seen that is very positive is that, you know, we've seen a series of higher highs and, and so higher lows and higher highs, and it recently made another higher high. And uh, it's been above its 200-day moving average for a while, but this week, or in the last four or five days, it has broken above its 200-week moving average. So it's got some nice momentum there, and that's very positive. The one thing to be a little concerned about, though, is the price of oil. Uh, if you go back historically, uh, the, Brazil has traded very, uh, the correlation between Brazil and the price of oil has been very, very high. Now, there was a big divergence, however, in 2012, 2013, when we were really right in the meat of that uh, bear market in, in emerging markets. But that correlation is, is, in the last year and a half, two years has reasserted itself, and oil is really not breaking out. So, uh, again, oil, uh, Brazil's problems that it had uh, going into last year uh, had a lot more than to do with, with just uh, oil, but oil is still important to its economy. If it can break out, that's going to be much, give it a much more higher potential uh, for, uh, for it to uh, you know, have another good year. Uh, but with oil the way it is right now, it, it might limit that upside. All right. We're going to watch oil. If oil goes up, so too may Brazil. Matt Maley, thank you. Stacey Gilbert, thank you. Uh, obrigado, everybody, for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.